Welcome back to another Bravo movie review. Today we have a pleasant surprise for you. A strange, quirky, irregular 2012 movie called The History of Future Folk. I believe it's destined to be a cult classic in about 10 to 20 years. I am 100% convinced of this. This crazy flick will push many of your buttons, the far out cool button, your sentimental button, your flamenco Spanish tango button, your insane what the hell's wrong with him button, especially when the mighty Kevin karate chops a sweet little old lady and you say, what the hell's wrong with him? This movie will question what you think a movie should even look like. And I think that, in a nutshell, is the beauty of it. Twisted sister D. Snyder has a role in the movie. He runs the bar scenes and the bar. The bar. It's actually filmed at a real bar in Williamsburg, New York. The bar is called the Trash Bar. The, uh, the players in the movie, the star is Niels Dulaire. He plays General Trius from Hondo. And Jay Kleitz, he plays the mighty Kevin, who also comes from Hondo to assassinate the great General Trius, who has not completed his mission of killing all the humans, so the entire population of the planet Hondo can move to Earth because a meteor is heading to the Hondo planet to destroy everybody there. Crazy as it seems, when the General gets to Earth to kill the population with a virus, he hears music for the first time, yes. He hears music for the first time and he cannot believe it. Yes, that's a major theme in this wacky movie uh, because there is no music on Hondo and that explains a lot. Well, by now, you probably already get the gist of it that I like this movie. This is the kind of movie that you can watch twice. Now, the movie is from 2012 or 2013, depending on who you talk to. I cannot really put this flick in a 100% sci-fi category because I just don't think it fits in that hole. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what hole this abnormal peg would even fit into. Comedy for sure, yes. Live action, kind of. Musical, you might be surprised. The weird part of this whole show, is this movie, it's, uh, it's based on a real New York folk music comedy duo called Future Folk. It was founded as a live act in 2004 by Niels Dulaire and Jay Kleitz. One of their first public performances was at Times Square in 2005. They went on to play at the East Village. And apparently in New York, the Alien Hondo Act grew into sort of a local cult craze, or so I imagine. Lead actor Niels, his grandparents in real life, were well-known children book writers who lived in Connecticut. And talking about this folk music acting duo in the movie, uh, they remind me of Martin and Lewis, circa 1940. So in a strange, quirky, Hondo kind of way. This is an alien sci-fi version of Martin and Lewis with Niels Dulaire playing D. Martin's straight man act and Jay Kleitz playing the goofy Jerry Lewis part. It works. And if, Holly, and if Hollywood was smart, which they're not, they would create more vehicles for this clever Hondo duo. And again, talking about the lead actor, Neil Dulaire. He's 46 years old today. And he would, but he was 37 years old back when this movie came out. His father-in-law was a chief executive in the pharmaceutical business. So if this space alien folk music duo act doesn't work out, well, there's always nano-injected chip vaccines. Well, like I said, this is your lucky day. Now you have heard of a no-budget sci-fi New York comedy classic. They had to call in many markers to film this on the cheap. They begged, borrowed, and stole as many locations as possible. And they even filmed it in the director's home of John Mitchell and other family and friends. They just, they just did what they had to do to get it done. Filmed also, like I said before, at the Trash Bar, which is a real bar in Williamsburg. I give this little gem a 7.5 out of 10 Bravos. I kind of liked it.